Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening and dancing pleasure, the nicest guys in bluegrass music, the seldom seen. We've been at it for a long time. I'm the uh, only one uh, left of the original crowd. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, it's, you know, it started sort of as their Monday night card game. Uh, <laughs> really. And uh, who'd, have, who'd have thunk that, what, 36, 37 years later, we'd still be doing it. But it's still fun. Um, I love these guys. They're, you know, Ronnie and Dudley and Fred and Lou. They're just, they're just top notch. And they're fun to play music with. They're fun to hang out with. And, uh, you know, they keep me feeling young. So it's, it's a great crew. It really is. Well, when we first started, I think we were maybe sort of trendsetters. Uh, we were doing non-traditional, what people consider non-traditional. Back then, back in the 70s, uh, most bluegrass bands were playing songs about cabins and mountains and, you know, that sort of stuff. And we were doing um, material, well, we were doing James, you know, we would steal stuff from anybody we could. James Taylor, uh, we used to do a couple, uh, one of Elton John's songs, we never recorded it, but uh, a song called Country Comfort we used to do, and just, just about anything that would come along. And, and now, uh, well, my son Chris uh, was in a, is in a, or was in a band called the String Dusters, and when, they were a bunch of young guys, a real hot bluegrass band, and uh, they'd come and stay at my house, and. Uh, They'd always accuse me of being in what they call a trad band, which is a traditional band. So I guess we've sort of, you know, uh, I don't know whether we've mutated, but the music has, has kind of gone that way. And uh, we're, uh, so I think we're probably a more traditional style band. We don't go too far out. Duffy was sort of a, uh, how should I put it? He was, he was one of a kind. I, th I don't think anybody that's ever seen him will, will uh, doubt that remark at all. Uh, you never knew what was going to happen on stage. You never knew what was coming out of his mouth. Um, and uh, we're, th that, that, that part of it's gone. Now, Dudley does most of the MC work for us now. And he's funny as a crutch when he wants to be, but uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't stretch the envelope quite as far as John used to. I mean, there were times when John would say something, I just wish I could get small and just <laughs> leave the stage. But he was, you know, he really was in one of the most incredible tenor singers that I've ever heard. And uh, just a real genius at picking good songs. He's a good songwriter. Uh, and we, uh, you know, we miss him terribly. We really do. Of course, our, our guitar player is uh, Dudley Connell, and he was the uh, lead singer and guitar player for the Johnson Mountain Boys, which was uh, one of the great groups that came along in the 80s, pretty con um, traditional bluegrass group. And, uh, and we have uh, Ronnie Simpkins, who's probably one of the absolute best bass players in bluegrass music, period, end of report. He's, uh, he's fantastic, he really is, and a wonderful guy, as is Dudley. I mean, all the guys. Lou Reed uh, was with the scene, uh, well, he, he came in, in the early 90s, late 80s, I'm sorry, middle 80s, 86 through about 90, 91 was our guitar player. Then he left to go with uh, Vince Gill, got an offer he couldn't refuse. Uh, and then uh, when we lost John, uh, he, uh, he, we, we talked him into coming back, and uh, and he's just been wonderful. He's a great singer. He can play any instrument. Uh, good guy. Uh, Fred Travers, absolute wonderful dobro player. And when we when we got Fred, it was when Mike Aldridge was our original dobro player. Who left in about '95. He and a couple other guys formed a group called Chesapeake. And we just needed another dobro player. We had no idea we were getting such a great singer with Fred. But uh, we did, and, and Fred is the one in the band that can sort of uh, channel John just a little bit, channel his voice. I mean, nobody could really sing like uh, Duffy could, but Fred can really sort of make you, make you think about John when you hear him sing. We, 
originally being a, about this time last year, well actually I, I think it was August of 2007, and uh, surprisingly enough, we got, uh, it's called Synchronized, and it got nominated for a Grammy in the bluegrass category, which we didn't win. We're three time losers in the, in the Grammys, but that's okay. It's, it, I know it sounds trite, but it really is an honor to, to have a, a project like that uh, nominated. Just, you know, so we were, we were tickled to death, we really were. That's just me, I've been doing the same same old thing, standing over in the corner, uh, playing the banjo for about 37 to 38 years, however long it's been. But it's really fun. I, you know, I, I wouldn't be doing it if, uh, if I didn't like these guys and, and just having a blast. And it really is, it's still fun after all these years. Lady. 